It has been over a decade since the then Fiat CEO, Sergio Maraschioni, announced that he wanted to revive the Alfa brand. At the time, he spoke of how the Alfa Giulia would be based on the Dodge Dart. Thankfully, that idea was short-lived, and a little small group of secret operations at Alfa known as the Skunks got to work developing this, the rear-wheel-driven Alfa Giulia. Now, the question I want to answer is, is it worthy of wearing that badge? Lo and behold, the Alfa Romeo Giulia. It has been extremely long awaited, this vehicle. And they say when you wait for something for a long time, you expect a lot from it. And it's coming into a fiercely competitive market space. The Alfa Romeo Giulia comes against the likes of the BMW 3 Series, the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, the Audi A4, and that of the Lexus IS. So I was extremely excited to get behind the wheel of this latest generation and see but really can deliver. Well, I'm glad to report immediately off the bat, after spending a considerable amount of time driving it, it delivers on so many fronts. First thing to take note of is the body of it. Alphas are always painstakingly beautiful, and this Julia is magnificent to look at. As you walk around it, you'll see it sculpted, good looking lines. Okay, this one is the base spec, so I would probably look at changing those wheels. The 16 inch standard wheels look a little bit out of place, but you can of course spec some larger wheels as you get on the Super or the QB. But even that is a minor niggle when you see how beautiful the rest of the body is. But they say beauty is more than skin deep. So let's jump onto the interior where you'll see the ring for a right old treat. Much like its gorgeous body, the interior really comes alive here in the Julia. Even in the base spec, you get this lovely leather-wrapped steering wheel. It's comfortable to hold, beautiful to look at, and I love the placement of the engine stop-start button. You also get easy access to your multifunctional controls, which control this, your 8.8-inch multimedia interface. In the center, you've got this jog dial. It's used to slide through the system and feels much like using that of say the Audi MMI. Whilst it may not be quite as bang up to date, it still gives a clear representation of your media which is deliverable thanks to two USBs in the cabin. You also of course have the likes of Bluetooth to pair your mobile phone and the option to get satellite navigation. The overall cabin is a really airy, classy and minimalistic feel and I love what aliens have done here. Now apart from the really tastefully specced interior, you also find it's an extremely comfortable car to be seated in. I love the minimalistic dash. The overall material grades throughout the cabin are also very impressive, with nice soft tactile surfaces, ergonomically well placed buttons, and the central multimedia interface, which all clearly integrates into the black fascia throughout the dash. The big one, of course, this being Alfa Romeo, is also how does it drive? And I'm glad to report, even here on base spec, or at least they call it base spec, you're looking at 0 to 100 in just 6.6 6 seconds. It's 147 kilowatt engine, which is 4 cylinders, 2 liters, produces 330 newton meters of torque, and it just feels so strong, it's such a meaty engine. I really am impressed with it. You also find it manages to average pretty impressive fuel economy figures. Alpha claims 6.6 .6 per 100, but if you drive it carefully um, around town, even in dense urban conditions, I've averaged 7.5, 8. And that's not bad when you consider the kind of sporty art ride which it offers. Now, the Alfa Romeo Julia is also big on the safety front. It offers airbags throughout the cabin and all kinds of clever and passive safety systems. For example, a 
I stray over the white lines, it'll warn me on the dash, as well as have a little buzzer to notify me. You also get a warning if the car in front suddenly slams on brakes and it puts on your hazard lights to notify the drivers behind. In fact, the Alfa Romeo Giulia even scored 98% on the Euro NCAP passenger safety rating, which is the highest ever scored. At the beginning of this, I asked you, is this a real Alfa Romeo? Is it worthy of wearing the badge? And my answer is yes. It's the realest Alfa Romeo in many years. From me, Jason of Technobark, until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers for now. Technobark.